Welcome to another episode of Lake Street News. I'm Mira. And I'm Saffron. Tonight we've got stories about clocks, a bridge, a former cafe, and more. It's time we talked about time. On January 30th, it was decided that the Ithaca City School District would spend $500,000 to rent wall-mounted clocks for schools. When asked about the focus of the spending plan, Superintendent Dr. Lubell Brown said, quote, I don't think there's anything else in there, just clocks, end quote. The district plans to ask the Finance Committee for funds, saying that they will install clocks in a timely manner. The building once home to the Red and White Cafe will be taken over by the Greater Ithaca Activities Teen Center's Catering Program, also known as GIAC. The cafe will be open to the public, complete with an outdoor dining space, garden, and a gallery space. The teenagers will apparently be in charge of the whole operation, so there's no way this could possibly go wrong. In other news, a literal bridge are we really this low on news? Yes. <laughs> okay. A bridge in Salmon Creek was awarded the 2024 Prize Bridge Merit Award, the highest honor the United States of America can give to a bridge. Wow. It was completed in the summer of 2020 after a two year of rebuilding. Now, can we please get on to something other than cars and bridges? Nope. A car crashed into the Fall Creek Elementary School after a police chase late last Thursday night. The, car, the chase started around 10 p.m. when an IPD officer saw a car speeding through Fall Creek. When the officer tried to stop the car, the driver attempted to evade the officer, but after a short pursuit, the fleeing car crashed into the school. The driver was then apprehended after a brief foot chase. Superintendent Dr. Lavelle Brown, despite the car crash, still held classes as usual Friday after. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. <laughs> What are they saying?